Good morning, Vimboy. How you doing? Oh, thank you. You're a pretty good AI yourself. That's good. That's good to hear. Ugh, this canned coffee tastes foul. How can anyone stand that? Honestly. Honestly. Canned coffee, welcome to Japan. You know what? I've had Japanese canned coffee before, and even that did not taste as foul. Maybe they just had a special touch. Or maybe they add salt to their coffee to make it not taste bad. I don't know. It's one of those things. To be fair, this canned coffee is about a day old now. Um, since it's been opened. So maybe it's just starting to spoil? I don't know. Oh, forgot. Let's say using my 3D avatar today, I might as well put the uh, clip back on. I have a feeling that Splugan Splugan did not, in fact, make this clip, reinforce this clip in any way. I'm fairly sure that this clip is the same as it was as the previous one, and that it will also break in around six to seven months from now. So we will attempt to get the best bang for our buck out of those six to seven months that we possibly can. But hey, the nice little cutouts that they have in the back of the device are very helpful now. It's a lot easier to get st to get the uh, to get the leap motion camera out of it now. So it's not all too bad, right? Good morning to anyone that is stopping in to watch me get creamed in Guilty Gear Tribe. We'll be getting started fairly soon. <laughs> Gonna see some bullshit blazing in a minute. Oh, fuck my life. What did I do now? Oh, there we go. Ah, much better. Just had to snap everything into place. Okay. Uh-oh. My stupidity may have cost me something. One second. <laughs> Good morning, Kage. Good morning, Mika. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> It's a basic neck mount with. I made this. It's a basic neck mount with a Converi GoPro cold foot. You up for some aggressively wholesome hand holding this wonderful Saturday? I'm always up for aggressive hand holding, believe it or not. Let me just check my DMs here really quick. Hey, I recognize that. That's one of the uh, 3D print. That's the other 3D printed. Um, uh, leaf motion controller holder that this, com this company was selling, but they claim that that was the cheaper version, quote unquote, that did not have the quote unquote reinforcing, quote unquote. I say quote unquote because the other one is the the other one they have is the one that broke after six or seven months, quote unquote, after just regular usage because I don't know, planned obsolescence or some shit. Um, do I have a copy of that broken one around here? I thought I did. 
I also thought that that version of the one that you're using right now was also cooler looking, honestly. Um, it looks more form-fitting compared to this one, but what do I know, right? Wait, you made this your... It has, like, the same... The way the, uh... I guess someone released the STI files or something, and then other people on Etsy are just going around selling... Or printing it and selling it, because... I'm fairly sure I've seen that exact one before, except with the difference that the cutout where the leap motion goes is different. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Actually, I'll show you it to you here on Etsy because you could see my screen. <laughs> so this is the one I bought, and this is the one that snapped last time after six or seven months. And this is what they... This is the one that they sell, which looks exactly like... <laughs> uh, except yours looks heavily modified by comparison. Oh. Oh, I see what's different. Okay. Yeah, actually, I like that. I like the changes that you made to it. <laughs> I guess great minds think alike or something because people are all just downloading the same files and 3D printing roughly or similar, roughly similar looking. Uh, I have a shirt clip version too, but the shirt clip one requires first to have a shirt to be worn. <laughs> Not that I'm implying anything. I am not an IFOC right now, to my knowledge. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, cool. We have, we have the the leap motion is now on. There we go. The shirt one does wobble a lot, and it's also not straight because of the weight of the leap motions um, cable on one end, so you always have to put it slightly off center, and it's just a mess. Actually, before we get started, let me go ahead and check the placement of my leap motion cam or leap motion camera now that I have a proper um now that I have a proper whatchamacallit controller again. Let's see now. Collarbone. It's uh, right above my sternum actually. And it's just below let's see uh, collarbone the motion settings. Okay, as I thought, it needs to be raised just a little bit. Okay. Well, one of these days, I'm going to try and do what my friend Nori V does and attach the leap motion to my phone or to a tablet and just use that for streaming. <laughs> that way, I'm when I do hand motions, I'm doing it facing the leap motion camera instead of doing it in front of the thing hanging from my neck. But that has its own problems. Because I started trying to mess around with AR kit stuff, and it's been going great so far, but I'm fairly sure that my phone's processor is far weaker than my computer one. So the tracking is... A little bit slower, not as smooth, but at the same time, my computer is starting to have problems um, running all the software in addition to like running a game. Or maybe it's just a problem with when I try to play any Unity games. Unity does not like being played with other Unity programs for some reason. 
Let's see, I made that myself. I downloaded some random. The shirt one wobbles, link to you my new prototype. It's using a leather a leather fetish collar, much more comfy and sturdy. I saw that, that some people were, that some VTubers were using, uh, were using collars or they were using chokers to hold their leap motion cameras. Very nice. I want to kind of want to try something similar to that out in the future. Maybe someone selling a uh, selling a um, 3D printed choker leap motion holder online somewhere. <laughs> All right. Now then. Who wants to play some Guilty Memes Thrive? Just to let you know, I am in a open voice channel over here in the VFG VTuber fighting game community Discord server. So occasionally people might drop in, they might not, to hang out and play video games. They're all good people though, so I'm not concerned about uh, what they may do or say while I'm on stream. Because we are all VTubers, they understand. <laughs> we may play an open lobby later, and if any any of my viewers like to play would like to play a game of Strive, feel free to let me know, and I will set up a lobby. Otherwise, we're just gonna be making our way through ranks. I may take a break here and there to play DNF Duel instead. The VFGC is hosting another D another DNFL DNF duel tournament tonight. They were originally going to sell hold it last night, but Canada was experiencing widespread internet outages. The host of last night's tournament was affected, so it had to be postponed today. Still boggles my mind that that sort of thing can happen for like as long as it did. I feel like if one of the major ISPs or telecoms down here in the States were able to, were to have a problem like that, that there would be mass panic, there would be mass outrage. Americans love their internet access and their access to Facebook and Twitter and all that good shit. And not to mention video games. So, you can imagine. I'm hoping... I think I'm starting to get um, RSI on my thumb here from spending too much time on the tweeters. So I'm hoping it doesn't affect my performance too much today. Thankfully, I don't need my thumb, my right thumb, to play Strive. I just need my three fingers. Oh, that reminds me, I need to check to see what I bound Roman Cancel to. Because I keep forgetting how to Roman Cancel in this game for some reason. Yeah, no. battle settings. No, not that, is it? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I don't have anything set to Roman cancel right now. No wonder. And I can also set something to FD, and I'm wondering if I should do that. Maybe I should, I mean, I should like set zero or set one to FD. Because normally I can just FD by pushing two attack buttons while holding back, like you usually do. But sometimes it fails, and Arxis knows that this is a problem, and instead of they haven't found a way to really fix the problem yet, so instead they just made it so you can actually set FD, hotkey FD to a different uh, key bind. So I think I'll do that just in case, because you could have both at the same time. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Hi, Tearwolf. Welcome to the stream. So how is it that you have a powerful GPU but a 3D model occasionally stutters from possible overload? It's 
way more powerful than mine. You know what? I think it's because for Vroid applications and Unity games, it's not the GPU so much as the processor. And I'm still running an i7-4790K processor on my rig, which is OC to 4.6 GHz. By today's standards, that's fairly old now. And even with OC, it does struggle when it has to multitask Unity games. Oddly enough, it does not have this problem when I'm running VC Face, VTuber Plus, and a game that is Unreal based. I mean, I'm playing freaking Deus Ex HR with this avatar, it's just fine, and I can play Strive with this avatar, it's just fine. But last night, when I was trying to play. When I was trying to play uh, TMNT with. Uh, with Tank Bear Claw and Rena. It was lagging so hard, it was causing input lag on the game itself. So that's how we knew, like, okay, it's clearly not the GPU. <laughs> Oddly enough, when I was trying to use my avatar to play TF2, TF2 is an ancient game, but it was also causing me the same grief, which was very sad. Um, so, clearly... <laughs> So, uh, clearly, I cannot, or I could, but it's just going to cause me problems running VC Face and V2 Plus and playing certain video games. Now, my current um, goal, or financial goal as a VTuber, is to take a, is to uh, build a sleeper PC using some really old parts I got here to run as the to serve as the workhorse for running my VTuber applications and also running OBS while my main rig will be the one playing video games. So I'll be doing dual PC streaming. That way I can have the both of, best of both worlds. Um, I do have extra GPUs lying around my house, so all I really need is a MOBO, RAM, and a, C and a uh, CPU, and I'll be able to do that. I got some extra desktop monitors lying around the house too. Failing that, I'm thinking about converting my old miner, my uh, old miner PC, which I originally built to be a server for video games anyway, to be a Minecraft server, believe it or not. And since the crypto market has pretty much bottomed out, and I don't think it's recovering ever, <laughs> I might just use that to stream OBS and stream my VTuber applications, and we can do things that way. But I don't, it's been a while since I built a new PC. I actually enjoy building PCs, and I think it'd be cool to turn the uh, ancient PC, or at least the ancient... Um, case that I got from my late uncle into a secret PC for that sort of thing. When I say I wear a collar, you don't lie. <laughs> Shika Shika, welcome back. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm not currently on 16. I'm on 32 gigs of RAM, so I'm pretty sure it's not that either. Unfortunately, I'm fairly sure my mobo, my current mobo cannot handle 64, otherwise I would uh, upgrade back, upgrade to 64 too. You're in the Forza driving, so you don't think you'll join today? Well, that's okay. There will be other Saturdays. How's Forza going for you? Let's go build, let's go build a sleeper. You got it. Alright, so, now we got an RC bound, so I can actually use RC, and maybe, just maybe, I can, I can FD uh, reliably from now on. <laughs> All right. Wait, before I play online, I should probably get used to the new keybinds they set, right? That's probably a smart way to do this instead of just jumping straight into the lobby again and getting sweat. 
But you got it. Building a sweeper, get it. That's exactly what I was planning. Exactly what I'm planning. Who goes there? Shobra, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing this morning? What a surprise. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's perfectly fine. Everyone eventually makes their way to Lull's time in due course. Everyone, please give a friendly hello to Shobra of the Shadows. They're actually one of the first people I followed when I first started. VTubing. Very cool person. They are quite literally, uh, as their name implies, of the shadows. They also, out of character, have one of the cool- they, the way they run their streams and the way they run their personality on Twitter is just so cool. I'm kind of jealous. They have kind of a little bit of an art going on. They also are a creative writer, such as myself, and they integrate bits, a little bits of lore into their content all the time and actually do a lot of viewer integration by having people like solve puzzles and stuff to unlock more pieces of lore. It's so cool. Your words are very kind. Thank you for both those and the shoutouts. Well, no problem. No problem. <laughs> so, Shepard, what brings you to the stream today? Were you streaming yourself just now or do you just happen to be awake at this time? <laughs> oh dear. It appears that oh wait, yeah, you need tension meter to even use if you actually you need tension meter to even use all those defense, I forgot about that. You also need Tension Meter to use the Roman Cancel, incidentally. So that is a thing that needs to be done. Ow, 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 ow. You have awoken early today. I saw you were streaming and you went to stop by and say hello. I have played Strive here and there, but I feel like I'm not too good. Oh, don't say that. I'm not too good myself either, but it's all a work in progress. Fighting games are one of those things that you just have to get better at it over time. Almost no one's good, good at the start. I was just telling my viewers at the beginning that if you would like to play together or for me to open a lobby, you are more than welcome to join up. So if that's something that you feel like doing this morning, feel free to let me know and I can set up a lobby in due course. <laughs> it's interesting how I keep meeting more and more VTubers who play Strive. I mean, even outside the VFGC. Ow. Shika always likes to talk about how much he hates Kaikiski, so this is for you, Shika. But to be fair, this is a CPU, and CPUs cannot compare to the power of a fully armed and operational humanoid, or human player. Or so I've been told. Ellipsis? <laughs> when I first started playing Strive, it was first with my ex, and then it was some with some VTubers in the DFGC. And although I kept getting destroyed, like, tournament after tournament, eventually I started seeing improvement in my playstyle just through sheer uh, force of practice. And also, as it turns out, most VTubers who play fighting games tend to be the kind of YouTuber, the kind of fighting game players that actually are interested in seeing people grow and get better. They were able to show me how to improve my play and how and what to work on. For example, the fact that I kind of rely on airs a little too much, and by a little too much I mean that's sometimes all I do. It is a serious problem. I also tend to slide a bit much, and sliding leaves you open with me. But I digress. Shobra, 
who did you like to play in Strive? Okay, my thumb is actually starting to act up on me now. <laughs> you primarily play Faust, huh? Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie. A Faust is one of those characters I actually have trouble with, against, man. believe it or not. Because they're very unpredictable. Or at least, that is how they're supposed to play, is being unpredictable. I cannot into dealing with their projectile spam. But anyway, let me uh, deal with this. Let me deal with this happy chaos really quick and then we'll play a few sets. Stop! Okay, so how do I get out of here? I wonder, how do I get out of this? Hmm. Let me find a way out of this really quick, Shibra. How do I into escaping? How do I into... That's weird. Is there no menu? Of course, I just decided to hard alt F4. So let me out of the uh, game. That's fine. I'd let, sometimes that's what you have to do if the game does not cooperate. Uh, let me let me run Strive again. And, oh, hold Start. Oh, I'm fucking dumb. So I just had to hold Enter. My bad. I was impatient. I'm watching my model in between. Well, I'm looking at OBS in between the game to check my, how my model's doing. My model definitely lags when the game is loading something, but it does not lag when the game is running itself. So that definitely is the difference between playing an Unreal game alongside running VC Face and other VTuber applications and playing a Unity game and also running VC Face, etc. The, for some reason, Unity only likes running like one program at a time. You have difficulty running more than one Unity-based application at a time. I even noticed this when I was working in Vroid Studio the other day. Uh, it worked in DFBFC. Hmm. Well, let's see. Well, if I have to do it again, I'll try it first instead of being, um. Instead of being careless, you know what, Shubra? I think you were follower number four through number two ninety nine, which means I just need one more follower, and we're gonna three hundred. We're gonna have reached our next milestone already. That's kind of wild. It's only been a few months. I don't even know what what kind of giveaway and whatnot I'm gonna be doing for three hundred now, but I need to do so. And we're almost at six hundred followers on Twitch too, on Twitter too, which is insane. <laughs> Network. Welcome. Search ID has been generated. The ID for this room is RI2Y4N. <laughs> Let me add a display capture media source text. We're gonna be using, what font are we gonna be using for this? We're gonna be using Comic Sans just so I can screw with people. Wait, no, OBS does not have an option for Comic Sans. Oh my God, this is heresy. <laughs> How am I supposed to burn the eyeballs of my opponents? Fine, we're gonna be using Courier New then. Fuck it. And, um, is there a way to change the coloration of this font? No. Strike out and underline. We're gonna use underline then. 
We're also going to use a uh, size 18 font. Let's see what that looks like. Room code RI2Y4N. Where is the room? Where did I put the room code? Oh. We're gonna shove it all the way up here. Chat. On top of the screen. <laughs> Based. There you go. That should be readable, right? No Comic Sans, this uh, Microsoft property thing. I think it originated with 3D Movie Maker. Hmm. R I T Y 4 N. Verifying the integrity of game files, GGST seems to crash and start, which is most strange. Huh. GG, even up to now, with all the changes they made for some reason, Strive does have some optimization issues. Let me see here. RI2Y4N. It's also been some quite some time since you last touched Drive, all things considered. Okay, no worries. No worries at all. <laughs> derp, derp, derp. You've been practicing Skullgirls play, however? Nice, who do you mean Skullgirls? Back when I used to play Skullgirls, which wasn't very long, I used to main Big Band. Oh, welcome to the server, by the way. Beep boop. <laughs> I'm currently in the uh, voice chat for the VFGC right now, but if no one from there joins, I'll just go ahead and move back to my own server. You primarily play Double, but you also play Beowulf as well. Oh, nice choice of characters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Big 3D movie maker, though. Move? I mean, Comic Sans has been around for a while, and it's been a meme for a while longer. But that was way before 3D movie maker, I think. I remember people making fun of Comic Sans back when I was in high school. I think Umbrella is the most neat, and we cannot wait to see how Black Valley evolves with time. <laughs> I wonder if they're ever going to release Manette, since she still has a strong fan base despite losing the uh, popularity contest to um, that one character. The I don't I don't remember her name, but she was like a skull. She was like a skeleton type person. <laughs> Ah! Wrong button! Pain wheel? It might be... Uh, not pain wheel. Uh, she has a relatively new character. Um, she... I don't know how to describe her now. But it's not pain wheel. It's the... Um... Let me look them up really quick, actually. Whoa. One second. Having some audio issues right now. Really, right now. Really bad audio issues. I need to fix this really quick. Thankfully, I do have a. I do know the solution to this one. So let me just uh, pop out of. Uh, 
focus. Hold up, I know how to fix this. Hello? Okay, my mic works again, but 